Hey everybody, and this is the story of my wife and her miscarriage. So wife, how you doing today? I'm doing good. It's like I'm interviewing her. Oh, you miscarriage. So how how was it? Just tell the people yeah. how everything that happened. Well, uh, I recently found out that I was pregnant. And um, I went for my first ultrasound December 15th. And it was kind of concerned with how the, 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 the sack look and um, they just was concerned so they scheduled me for another ultrasound two weeks later. But I say um, that following Sunday, um, I started bleeding and I spotted with Evelyn, but this time it was different. Like, it was blood in the toilet, like every time I use the bathroom. And um, I called the nurse line that morning. And she told me, like, if I'm not bleeding through more than one pad, within an hour, um, I should be fine. So I wasn't bleeding like that, but it reminded me of, like, my period being on, like, you know, being light in the earlier days and heavier in the later days so um that following saturday came and i went to the emergency room because i just wanted to see like okay why am i bleeding um and the ultrasound wasn't open on saturday so she couldn't tell me nothing about the baby only thing she could do was check up on me and you know make sure that I was good and I checked out good and my ultrasound was at Wednesday and um Wednesday came I went to my ultrasound and they didn't see no baby and um the doctor he came in and like uh because I'm like laying on the bed and I'm like I asked my nurse like you know you see a baby she like you know, I really can't tell you this, you know. So, like, I had to wait to the doctor come in. And, you know, he told me and I was out crying. And um, I was by myself because with COVID going on, <laughs> I, um, they're not allowing, I guess, the extra people to come in. So, it, it was a lot. And I just remember, like, in our, like, they wanted to do some blood tests on me afterwards. And I just remember, like, just crying, crying. And um, usually, when you get your ultrasound, like, you will go to the front desk and make an appointment for, you know, your next one. And, like, um, like the lady was taking my blood, she was just like, you know, like, you ain't got to worry about stopping or nothing. Um, I'll walk you to the door. And, like, I just started crying again because I, I just remember that feeling of, like, going to the... Uh, desk and set my appointment and um yeah like that really hurt me but um for the most part um one of the nurses told me that it was a blessing in disguise because um if the pregnancy would have been successful then um it would be putting my life at risk because my baby was attached to my C section my scar. And um, the sat just didn't look normal to them. And um, it just, it just, I guess, was the best uh, thing, I guess, for both of us. And. Um, I just know God knows what's best. And just right now, it's just a lot. We're having two kids and working and take care of a home and being married and everything. It's like it's a lot. So um, I just wanted to share my story <laughs> just for anyone else who has went through this. Um, uh, I say be strong and 
Um, I know of plenty of women around me that done had miscarriages and continue to have, you know, a healthy pregnancy and healthy baby, um, you know, along the way. So it doesn't stop you from having kids, but it's just, I feel like uh, God's way of saying that it's not time. And, um, This was a uh, eye opener to me too. So uh, I'm now, you know, on birth control. Um, it just made me be more serious. I'm like, wow, kids are a big responsibility, and um, it's a lot having kids. So um, a good came out of the situation. Um, I know it felt like the people around me, like I remember I, I text my dad, like, no baby. I text my mom, no baby. And my dad, he was like, he teared up a little bit when I text him that. Um, so, like I said, I, I know it, it affected not only me, but everyone around me. And um, it's just, it's just, it's one of those things that happen. And, um, I just thank y'all for watching my video and I'll be uploading more and y'all have a great night.